Shortly after President Trump announced the plan to deploy the National Guard to the southern border, Border Patrol announced the Rio Grande Valley sector is experiencing a chaotic border environment. CBS 4's Priscila Estrada sat down with recently apprehended immigrants and shares their journey. Name after name is called at the Catholic Charities Respite Center in downtown McAllen, where dozens of undocumented immigrants have been released from custody. They have been given permission to, to continue their deportation proceedings wherever they're good at fa they have family. They are sent out with little to their name, a court date, an ankle monitoring device, and a ticket to their destination in hand. But while they wait for that to happen, the center provides them with basic needs for the time being. Uh, we have to be careful not to lose the human element to all this. The fact that these are families and children that are in great need of help, and that we need to not lose sight of that. Customs and Border Protection recently announced an increase in apprehensions over the past several months. In March, CBP saw a 37% increase compared to the prior month. Sister Norma Pimental says the numbers at the center vary depending on the time of the year. This week alone, they are seeing anywhere from 30 to 50 people a day. Muy duro. Exagerado, duro y peligroso también. Which is where we find 32-year-old Honduras native Iris Piñeda and her 7-year-old daughter, who says the journey to the United States was extremely rough. Sufriendo, a veces comiendo, a veces no. Sometimes eating, sometimes not, and hiding from dangerous individuals on the way. She tells me she's fleeing the violence in her country and is searching for a better life for her daughter. CBP says the increase in apprehensions, however, removes agents from the border to process individuals, leaving openings for smugglers to exploit. In a statement, Chief Border Patrol Agent Manuel Padilla says, quote, in short, the border region remains a dangerous place for law enforcement who face an array of dynamics in protecting our communities, from humanitarian efforts in regard to saving lives to being assaulted with rocks along the riverbanks. In Hidalgo County, with complete valley coverage, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 Valley, tonight. Customs and Border Patrol agents say there was a 203% increase in apprehensions compared to March 2017.